So welcome to the 6th of June at Gasper Cottage, which was a very damp day. So I've decided to look at my garden rather than going into my garden. This is from the kitchen, Get the, the new planting in front and the older, more mature planting back against the wall and a glimpse of the pergola. Up in that hunky punk corner, you've got the roses along the wall. Such a lovely array of colours in front of the old brickwork. And the planting there is really starting to hide the ground, which I suppose is a first requirement for planting. This is looking out by the sink. You can look across to the Rosa Rugosa and then up to the Ceanothus. Nice window panes, I hear you say. And then from the little window there, you get a bit of a glimpse of the planting just sort of between by the front gate. So from the old study, there's nice planting by the new terrace. That poppy is looking very, very good at the moment. I like the way it dyes quite elegantly. It goes to a kind of silvery pink. This is slightly cheating. It's standing in the porch of the back door, so looking across to the red bed, which is full of colour at the moment. And the dahlias are just about to pop, which will just bring the whole thing, whole thing completely to life. But a wonderful array of oranges and the reds. From the utility room, you get a nice view of that foxglove and rose collection and the, the terrace with the pots, Tom's bonsai. But those are, those are looking very good. The foxgloves are going over, but they've been very statuesque. I don't know why that tr chair has fallen over, but this is from the uh, sitting room. You get a nice view of the cardoons and then the view out to the landscape beyond. But the cardoons and the alliums have been a very nice combination. Some of the alliums have gone over and then there's more Napita in the pots there. So this is looking out from the red room into that little shady patch by the yew. So it's really more of a view out to the landscape beyond. And from the end of that room, you get a view out to the birch and the underplanting, which is all starting to, to meld together a bit with those grasses there. And you do get a little view out to the Picard which is my mum's sister. It's not a very respectful name for it. More later. But from the bay window, there's a that's going to be wonderful when all that planting fills up. Because it was always a very dull view before. It was just a bit of lawn. But I'm very excited by that now. And looking out from the front door, you look back up to the gate. Where, of course, the name is now written backwards. From the top of the stairs, you get a view across that little bit of porch. And there's a view out to the wider landscape, which is not looking particularly inspiring in the rain. But from the small bedroom, again, you can admire the fact that the planting hasn't grown yet. But all the nice twiggy supports that Jack has put in, I think are rather sculptural. From the end bathroom, again, you, you just get the birches. There's not much of a view really from that side of the house at all. But coming to the view from the two big bedrooms in the Georgian part of the house, there's the view out to that landscape, which, you know, I wake up and I can see that from my bed in the morning. And what could possibly be better? This morning it was magical. Today it's raining again. This is from the spare room, gives a slightly different view. You get a little glimpse of the secret garden. Nice shot of the railway. But then you come down to the studio where there's a good view out to this little formal pond and that very shady planting area. The secret garden has really sprung to life this week. All the dianthus are flowering and these irises in the pond are starting to go over, but they're just too good. But that little array of the shapes and flavours of pink back to the sweet peas, which are suffering with the rain, but I'm cutting them every couple of days and they're wonderful. Then there's the office end of the studio. 
which gives you a slightly different view across out to the greenhouse where you know, the peonies are struggling with the rain but other things are not.